Live from Stroker's Bar in Tampa, Florida, I am your host, the snowman with Simon Says of Gentleman Joe. Shut the hell up. Here we see the fruits of my labor. Here we see the product of my intelligence. I am an intellectual juggernaut. And while all these people like to collectively kiss Josh Wayne's ass, I outsmarted him. I promised to abide by James Legend decree that Josh Wayne receive a title shot, and he has. This is his title shot against Shane Swift. Shane Swift, what is the title here? It is the Internet Multimedia Championship. Is that correct, what it says? That is correct, Snowman. And Shane Swift, I know you were saying he was the fruit of your loins. He looks like a child, but I don't think he's the fruit of your loins. Fruit of my loins? I said that this match is the fruit of my labor. You think you're a pretty smart guy, huh? You think you're pretty funny? Let's see how funny you are when I smack those teeth out of your mouth. Is that what you want? Again with the teeth comments. Like Just because I have teeth does not mean that you can... Shut me down. Yeah, you brought enough teeth for the whole class too. And look at that big, big drop kick you know, now by boy. Josh Rain, the high flyer from Central Florida. And Bobby Fonta, look at this. This is going to be an interesting match here. And you know, a lot of you idiots may uh, think that Chase Whip is on the outside. He's catching a breather. Actually, he's catching a breather. No, no, he has not exactly where he wants them. I mean, it's a smart move. Let's 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 call it what it is. He's going outside while these two men work in the ring. He is taking a little siesta. And because you are the Neanderthal that we all know you are, you refuse to acknowledge the fact that Shane Swift has had an attitude change ever since aligning himself with myself and Eric Cooper and Joe Littrell and Shooter Storm. He clearly Shane Swift is a smarter competitor. He clearly has an attitude change. I just wouldn't say that it's for the better, but he has been a successful with this new attitude change. He is a champion. He is a champion of champion. And look at this. He's standing outside while Bobby Fonta and Josh Rain do all of the work. Damn right. Let's call him as you see him, huh, snowman? Get out of here, you hussy. You want to hit the streets with that outfit. Please, please leave some of my beautiful girlfriends alone. One of my seven beautiful girlfriends. Here and we now, see Bobby Fonta now catching Josh Rain with a Samoan and drop. Big Samoan drop. You must have learned that at WXW. Now you're a regular of WXW, aren't you, Simon Says? Ooh. Um, not as of late. And did you see that kick right to the temple? Bobby Fonta is in Greensville. Ooh! Bobby Fonta Ooh. is seeing donuts because his eyes are glazed over from that kick. That is ridiculous. You can't kick someone in the face like that. That has to be illegal. There has to be a rule against that in wrestling. You can't just kick someone in the eyeball. Oh, yes. You can, Snowman. And it looks like Shane Swift is a human tornado in there with his feet just spinning around, kicking people in the face. This is ridiculous. Now Shane Swift into the corner, back off kick. Oh my goodness, look like low key there. Shane Swift definitely a superstar in the making here in Central Florida. I don't think Fat Boy Fonta can take any more of these kicks to the head. He might succumb to these uh, traumatic blows to the cranium. I don't know that Fat Boy Fonta can be called fat anymore as he's lost some pounds and is in the best shape of his career. Yeah, too bad that shape is round. <laughs> <laughs> he hardly fits into those big red pants anymore. He's looking good. He's looking in shape. He's looking strong. Josh Rain as well, probably in the best shape of his career under the tutelage of Aaron Epic against all of us. And right now, Bobby Fonta looks like a funhouse mirror reflection of Louis Matos in the room. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that, time. That was an amazing move. Have you done that move before, sir? I've done it a thousand times. A standing shooting star press on the two men. That was that was insane. I wouldn't even consider doing something like that. I'd fall on my head. Yeah, well, much to your dismay, the only difference you might see the star press is that I do two flips. <laughs> the only difference is you do no flips, sir. Regardless, the master, the Simon, ex the Says Express, excuse me, the ASW heavyweight champion apparently doesn't have to do a shooting star press to win titles here, as Simon Says has been dominant here in all-star wrestling. That's right, Stolen. I told you earlier, you shut your mouth when you talk to me. You keep on mouthing off to the champ, and you're going to find yourself riding a first-class ticket at the Says Express. Well, I'll call it like I see it, Simon, and I will admit that you are one of the most dominant wrestlers here in Central Florida, but I think you can do it a better way without cheating, without using your mouth, without jaw jacking with all these fans. Goodness. And I will say one thing about Josh Wayne. He's a tough kid. This kid is probably made out of cartilage. We just saw him get dropped on his head. And it's, while he's really right now, he's not affected. This kid plays possum. It's a sympathy game. Is he fought with the lateral press? Now enough to put away the multimedia champion, Shane Swift.
Multimedia champion, that, that's for sure, folks. Speaking of cartilage, I don't think all of those bones in his brain have settled, the multimedia champion, that is. And Bobby Fonta going for a super kick, misses, reverse. Shane Swift with another one of those vicious kicks, spinning heel kick there. Shane Swift, he is very impressive individual, probably in his early 20s here, has a big future ahead of him here in all-star wrestling in Tampa, Florida. You know what they say, Snowman, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. And while right now I'm the heavyweight champion, I am the man of the heavyweight division. Shane Swift is the man of the other divisions. The cruiserweight division, the middle card division, every division you can name here at ASW, Shane Swift is the man. Now Josh Rain measuring off Swift. Josh Rain into the corner and boom, diving drop kick out of the ring. I don't see, I don't know anyone who does a better, better version of that move than Josh Rain. And Josh Rain. Big right hand, trading fists and slaps back and forth. Bobby Fonta with a big chop across his chest. Now, goodness, these guys are going back and forth. It's like Ric Flair comes right here. A lot of woos out there. And Josh Rain just slapping and chopping the hell out of Bobby Fonta. Josh Rain better be careful, though. It's Shane Swift behind him. And look at this. Look at this. Tornado DDT. Shane Swift taking down Fonta. Wow, that exchange took out all three competitors. I don't know who was on the worst receiving end of that. It might have been Bobby Fat Boy Fonta. Now Simon says, let me ask you about something other than this match. That's next week here in Tampa, Florida, ASW All-Star Wrestling. I heard that you and the Gangsta New Jack will be taking on the group who had called themselves the American Gangsta. Let me tell you something, not only is New Jack the original Gangsta, he's the only Gangsta. Eddie Brock may have fulfilled his financial obligations to me, but that's not my problem. Eddie Brock, his brother, and myself. I'll be more than happy to team with the ultimate hardcore icon against those two idiots. Welcome to Simon Says, the man with the green Cadillac and three jobbers in the back. From the north to the south to the east to west, Simon Says is the man who kicks ass the best. And now Bobby Fonta just taking it to Shane Swift, a partner of Simon Says. And look at that. Northeast All-Stars have seen better days, but Bobby Fonta seemingly uh, has the control of this match. Ooh. Bobby Fonta has taken a lot of those strong kicks and Swift's going to have to be careful. He's going to hit his head on that, on that uh, ceiling here one of these days. Hey, incredible, you suck! Folks, you're watching yeah, All-Star Wrestling here <laughs> in Tampa, Florida, Hillsboro Avenue, and I am your host, The Snowman. I've had New Jack here, I've had Gentleman Joe, I've had Simon Says doing color commentary. This has been a tremendous night of All-Star Wrestling action. We've seen superstars like Shane Swift, like Josh Rain, like Bobby Fonte. You've seen Essential Eric Cooper. You've seen Simon Excuse Says. Me for a second, Snowman. Go ahead, sir. And apparently, Simon says, looks like he might be entering the ring. He has left the ringside area. We might have Gentleman Joe stepping in. And look at this, Simon says with a low blow. No. No better words have ever been said, Gentleman Joe. Says Express! Says Express! Says Express! Simon says just taking you can't argue with results. Josh Rain down. Look at this. The Northeast All-Stars minus Eric Cooper. Um, just taking advantage of little young Josh Rain. Bobby Fonta, Bobby Fonta slapping the hell out of his arch nemesis, Simon Says. That's going to be a mistake for young Bobby Fonta. Bobby Fonta, kick to the face of Simon Says. Now look at that, it's a hurry. Salute and like a brick. New Jack is not happy about that. New Jack at ringside. New Jack is clearly not happy about this. And Simon says has seen better days, I have to say. Look at this. Shane Swift diving out of the ring. This, this is complete chaos. And I don't know what to say here. Gentlemen, Joe just left. All my color commentaries keep coming. Color commentary partners keep leaving and keep getting beaten up. Now look at this. Roll up there by Bobby Fonta. What's up, Three Ladies and gentlemen, the 